to 100 pumps and we are at 30 bars I think we're going to 200 The more pressure you get, the heavier, heavier it gets to pump. Let's see how much I get now. I think I'm at 60 bars. Trying to get my cousin to come help me. I have to go get help. That's a hundred bars. So, my mom tried. She did three, and uh, it was way too heavy. Now it's in 130 bars or 40 bars, and it's. Whew, I have to press it all the way down because when it's so high pressure it's only on the last tiny bit that you're actually filling the bottle. So if you just pump light on the top where it's light, it doesn't do anything. Some girl or someone who weighs like 50 kilos would not be able to do this. Start using the legs instead. Anyway, really happy. I have to break. Well, at least like two minutes break. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna try to finish this. That was 15 pumps, and that was about 
no, that was 50 pumps. I think that was about like 10, 15 bars. Uh, this counting isn't exact science, you know, because I'm doing a work here. Okay, so look at this. Now it's on 190 and I'm going to try to pump it without using a momentum. Like, just push it down. Check this out. So I closed, I closed the bottle now so you can see how much it takes to fill up to I get up to 190. Now just filling this hose Nothing happened. Hundred bars, no problem so far. Hundred and fifty bars starting to get very heavy. Under the 80 bars is really heavy. Now I'm at 190, so I'm not filling, actually filling the bottle again. Look at this. Hundred and ninety bars, hundred and ninety bars, and I give up. It's impossible to pump it more than that with this hand pump. So I'd rather use a one liter tank that you pump to 100 bars than a half a liter tank that needs to go to 200, that's impossible. Especially if you're a girl who's 45, 50 kilos, it's impossible. So I had the break, I had dinner and uh, I read some online. Apparently I have been pumping too hard, too fast I'm way too fit for this pump. You're supposed to have a break every 50 pumps for it to not overheat. I kind of did that, but sometimes I pumped a bit, a bit too hard and too fast. You know, this hot bod goes to the gym, stays in shape. And uh, I broke an O-ring on the pump. So I dismantled the pump, put it back together, I'm gonna try to get the past last 10 bars into the pump before I go to the gym or into the bottle, see? All exhausted. 
speaking wrong. So what I noticed earlier when I was pumping is that I got pump in my muscles. So I'm gonna try that now. See if you can get some insta body out during the pumping of them. So this is the muscles before pumping. Perfect lighting, huh? Let's see. Yes, still at. Actually, that the pressure went down a tiny bit because when you pump, the air heats up, and then when it cools down, it uh, it contracts a bit. Okay, it's still heavy. My mom would still not do this. I should bring this to the gym. People could try it. Say it's a new apparatus for perfect chest. It's more squats than it's bench press or dips. Almost there. Oh, this is still a heavy person's job. I'm 80 kilos, this, this much in pounds, and this is, uh, is heavy. All right, we're at 200 bars. Check the most important thing first, did we get the pump? I think we did, if you do like this, fix the lighting, it's better. Okay, so we filled it and it took uh, this many pumps, and uh, this many minutes of constant pumping. And I will not have to do cardio today. So I read a bit online and it said, you should be able to pump this in 50, no, 10 to, 50, 10 to 20 minutes. And uh, I'm in a reasonable good shape and you cannot do that. It varies a little bit what they say on their pages, but I can put it here, here and here and here. How much time different companies claim you can pump a 0 0.5 liter tank. You can do like this and I'm uh, dressed again. So there is a solution to this problem. And it's this. So this specific tank that I pumped now is from Minidive, it's 0 0.5 liters and uh, this took forever. Skorkel, uh, Smako and Spare Air makes the same bottles and there's different companies that makes the same. I have this one from Smako, this is a 0 0.7 liter. I am not going to pump this because that would take even longer but pumping this, which is a different style bottle that many sell, Mini Dive also sell these now, would take the exact same time as what I pumped now. Though the one from, uh, from Spare Air is sold as a rescue thing to have uh, on your vest uh, vest when you uh, scuba dive. These other ones are sold as recreational bottles and uh, they're good, I love them. I use them much more than I use my full diving rig, but I do not like the marketing they do with that you can fill them with a hand pump because basically you can't, can't, you can't, 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 British, American, uh, never mind. Technically you can fill these tanks with a hand pump, but practically you cannot because I would never go diving if, if I had to do this pump like this. It, it takes forever but luckily there is a solution and uh, when used with a compressor 
or filled from another bottle or a bigger tank, then they're lovely. I love using these. They're also safe, even though many people in the comments say they're not. They are safe if you have a scuba diving license. They are not safe if you have no scuba diving license. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm going to go to the gym.